In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to delete your temporary files that you can't find on uh, Windows. Okay. I found last week that um, I started off with 10 gigabytes and I was down to two. So went through the motions like you people are, are, have gone through and eventually found out how to get, actually get rid of the files that I don't actually need because the actual um, the actual program that you've uh, that you've got for disk clean it just doesn't work you know it, it might get rid of half a megabyte that's it that's no good to anybody so um, this is how you do it anyway so with further ado let's get into it okay I'm going to go into my documents now I'm going to show you there's absolutely nothing on this laptop everything I've got now because the previous experience is um, is all on external drive now so I've got there's me this PC okay you can see me windows there okay it says now 8.92 okay so last week when i got when i'd done this cl disk clear myself um or got rid of my temporary files i i had nine and a half how do we do it okay well, first of all we go into go into your windows key okay and you click on that and press r okay now that this will bring this menu up here what you want to do is select run Okay, just so we're going to select run. Okay, now it gives you an option now here to type something in here. Okay, so what we're going to do in there, we're going to type in temp. Okay, T E M P. All right, and then we're going to press OK back down here. Now, there's all the temporary files now. I only done this what probably a week, a week and a half ago. They're all the temporary files now that I've actually accumulated since I done this, uh, done this clear out last time, and I got myself back seven gigabytes, seven or eight gigabytes last week or the week before. So when you're at this stage here, to select all the files that you need to delete, you need to press Control and A. Okay, so here we go, Control A. And they've all lit up there now okay so to get rid of all them all you do is press shift and delete okay so there we go shift and delete are you sure you want to permanently delete these 13 items i'm going to go to yes uh, the action can't be completed because the folder or file is open and it's another program close the folder or try again now that's fine okay if, if the action can't be completed because the folder or file is open in another program. Don't delete them, okay? Because that still means that them files are working files, okay? So, but it has got rid of a few, as you notice. But the good thing about this, the way we're doing this, is anything important, it will not get rid of it. So you don't need to worry. So if it lets you delete your temporary files, delete them. If it says it can't complete because it's open in another folder, then leave them alone, okay? Because the next one we want to go to. So we want to close that down now. Come out of that. Okay. Go to the top corner and close that down. Okay. Then we want to go back to our Windows key again. Okay. And we want to select that. Okay. And we want to press R. And we want to get that up again. Okay. Go to run. Okay. And you see this again. So now, what you've got to do now is type in percent temp percent. Okay. So let me just show you that now. So where's my percent key? There it is there. So I want shift. So I want percent. 10%. So it's already listed underneath it below. Okay. So we click on that. Okay, and then click OK. And these are all the temporary files. Okay. So what we're going to do again, okay, we're going to press the um, Control and A then to select the temporary files. So here we go here is Control and A, and it's going to highlight all the temporary files. Okay. And then you want to select Shift and Delete again. So press shift and delete. Right. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these 11 items? I'm going to go yes. No. 
Okay. The action can't be completed because the file is open in Microsoft. Close the file and try again. Okay. But you can already see that it's deleted most of them and just left one. So close that. So now uh, we want to go close that down again. Okay. Okay, go back into here. That oh run right prefetch press OK. You don't have complete permission, just continue. That's just administrative. Okay, so you've got all that there. So if you press Control and A, right, that's going to select all the temporary files in the prefetch, okay, and then we just press Shift and Delete, which I'm going to do it this time. Shift, and Delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these 203 items? I didn't do this last time, but I'm going to go yes. And there we go. But the prefetch is still there. So if there's anything prefetch needs, it will just download it automatically or drag it back up again. Okay. So that's that's okay. That's so we're going to shut that down. But we have got rid of all of them other files there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to close that down. Um, I think they recommend you to restart your Windows. Restart. Okay, so we're going to go into our documents now and have a look at our Windows C now, after it's rebooted. Now, I'm not expecting to get a great deal because, you know, I didn't do it, uh, it wasn't that long since I'd done it. So I'm going to go into my documents. Go into this PC. And as you can see there, 9.1 gigabytes. Okay, so that's roughly what I had. Um, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks ago when I actually done this. This method, I mean, this video is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's quite a few minutes long, but it's such a simple procedure. Once you've done a procedure once, you know, if you write it down um, and then just keep on top of it, you know, once a month, then you will, you know, you will, you will keep on top of your gigabytes unless you've got a lot of stuff. You know, in your documents or downloads, you've got looks, looks of pictures or videos, then that's your fault. Get an external drive and get yourself some free space. So, thanks for watching anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, any questions or comments, give us a put them in the comments below. Cheers. Thanks for watching.